We have a new app called the Excellent Agent app, and it's more like a page in the agent section. So this is not in the application section. You have to click on agents and then over here in Excellent Agent. If you use this app, what you will do is you will create agent pages for all of the agents that work on your site. This is an example. So this is a demo site. Of course, these people are not real, um, but they're demo agents. And if you were to activate the Excellent Agents app, if you would click on Becky Smith, for example, on active listings, it would take you to here. So this is a specific page created for Becky Smith um, with her phone number and then these sections over here. And then there's also a home search, a description about Becky, and then um, the properties that she manages or that she sells. These are all demo properties, but if you have agents and these agents have active listings, this is where they would show up. If you click on my listings, it will take you to this section. If you click on about me, it will take you to the bio. And if you click on home evaluation, it will take you to this page for people to add in information about the home they want to sell to get evaluation from the company. If they make a search, it will search from the properties that Becky Smith has available. It's important to mention that all of this information is coming from IDX Broker. So if you want to modify this, you would have to go to your dashboard, then click on account, users, and agents. And then all the agents that you manage will show up here. As you can see, we're on the Becky Smith. So let's click on Becky Smith to see the information that she has. So here is the information that is showing up over here. So first name, last name, title, email, um, address, city, state, phone number, and then this is the bio. So if you want to remove any of this from here, you would just remove it in the agents information section. So this is in account, users, agents, and then select the agent that you want to edit and click on this button right here. It creates the same page for all of the agents. So let's click on Ronaldo Aveiro and click on active listings. And this is what is going to be showing up. It also applies to sold listings. So if you click on sold listings, it's the same template, the same page, but it will only show the sold listings. In this case, it's not showing any sold listings because the agent doesn't have any and we configured a fallback. What this means is that when an agent doesn't have any sold listings, another type of property will show up. In this case, featured listings, which are these ones. Let me show you how to set this up on your site. So you go to IDX add-ons and you click on excellent agent once you're logged into your account. What you want to do is you will create a new wrapper. In this case, we already have a wrapper created, but this is what will show up when you first log in um, to this section. In the setup tab, it will say create wrapper. You would click on that button and we only have one design for now. So you would select this one. If in the future we have more designs, you can select from the designs that are available and you click on create. What this will do is this will generate a wrapper for you. And this is where we're at. So this is the design and the wrapper. You can change some information about the wrapper. For example, the title of the tab. In this case, we made it say agent. And this is this tab right here. You can call it whatever you want it to be. Um, you can also modify the name of the links, the ones here. So my listings about me and home valuation. If you want to change the logo, you would add in an image URL. You have to make sure it's PNG or JPEG um, for it to show up. This would be this image right here, which is the one you see here. The hero image is this one. So it's the one in the background. The hero title would be the one you see here. Start your home search here. And the Omni search is the Omni search bar. You can get this script if you go over here on apps and then click on the omni search selector you can create an omni search bar like this one or like this one and it will give you a code for you to add in to the excellent agent once you select um, the fields you want to show so this is what you would add in here if you want an omni search bar if you don't want an omni search bar you don't have to add it over here 
The fallback widget is what I was talking about before. If you want a certain section to have a fallback, this would mean that when there are no properties in that section, for example, for sold, it would show another widget. In this case, we're showing the featured listings and we're adding the widget code for featured listings. For the footer, it's this section right here over at the bottom. You can add your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Um, handles and you can also add a text over here. Once you're finished adding all of this information, you can click on update wrapper information. And if you want to modify more things with custom CSS code, you can also do so. So once you have your wrapper created, we actually want it to show up and to be linked to IDX. So what we will do is we will go to this section. We're on design website wrappers, and then we clicked on pages and agent bio and listings. And we will add in the URL over here. And you have to make sure it's on the dynamic tab. So we copy this wrapper and we paste it here and save it. The next step would be to add in the agent bio page subheaders. And this is in this page right here. So it's on websites, subheaders, pages, and also agent bio and listings. And what we will paste here is this subheaders code. You click on copy and you paste it here and you save changes. It's important that if you go to this page and it's like this, you click on turn WYSIWYG off so that you can add in code and then save the changes. After that, you're ready to go and the wrapper should be showing up on your agent's roster. So you have to make sure that you have an agent roster page because this is where it will be connected. Um, this is the roster page for this demo account that we have, the agents, and you would just click on these buttons to see the page where we were before. To get access to agents pages, you have to be a real Ticani client because all of this is on IDX add-ons. If you're not a real Ticani client and you're an IDX broker client, all you have to do is send an email to IDX broker saying, I want real Ticani to be my developer partner. And what this will do is that we will be the ones that um, you will turn to for support. And you also get access to all the apps um, and templates that we have on this website. If you want to learn more, you can email us at support at realtikani.com.